Hello Grade 12s, in this lesson we'll discuss three different long-term investments, namely retirement, life, funeral policies and stock fills. None of us want to worry about making money when we're old. We would rather collect our pensions and enjoy the last few years of our lives with our loved ones. Unfortunately, this is not always possible. Life assurance companies have for many years calculated that as little as 4 to 5 percent of South African people retire with enough money to look after themselves in old age. Generally, to have enough money to support yourselves in retirement, you need to have roughly 15 to 20 times more money than your yearly income. To help achieve this goal, employers sometimes offer their employees pension funds or provident funds as part of their salary package. These two types of investment products are very similar but have different tax implications. These investment products, like other investment products, are managed by the big investment companies in South Africa. These companies pull the funds together and invest them in various investment instruments like property, shares and foreign exchange. Through these investments, the money will grow. Provident and pension funds are usually offered to employees so that the company can invest a larger amount of money in the same fund. When an employee leaves the company, they have the option of withdrawing their fund from the investment. Often, the pension or provident fund is not large enough to cater for the retirement of a person. If someone would like to invest more money for their retirement, they will need to take out a retirement annuity. A retirement annuity works on a very similar basis as the provident and pension funds. The investor makes monthly contributions and the investment company will invest the money to make it grow. At retirement age, the annuity will mature and the investor will gain access to it. The trick with this and all other investments is to start young. The more time you have to invest, the more your interest will be compounded. In other words, the more time your money will have to grow. Let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of provident and pension funds as well as retirement annuities. Firstly, a portion of the money that is contributed is tax deductible. This means that you'll be able to claim back some of the money at the end of each tax year. Secondly, the money that is invested is safe from any creditors. In other words, should you be in any financial trouble, no creditors can claim the money in the fund as repayment of debt. The first disadvantage is that these funds do not have any security value. This means that you cannot use the fund as collateral for a bank loan. Another disadvantage is that sometimes the administrative costs can be very high. It's important that you look into these costs carefully before choosing the right fund for your needs. The advantages far outweigh the disadvantages, but what if you don't live long enough to retire? What happens to that money? Well, when you set up the fund, you will nominate a beneficiary of the fund in case of your untimely death. Untimely deaths are tragic. We always hear adverts on TV and the radio telling us about life insurance. Let's explore these policies in more detail. A life insurance policy is considered to be a long-term insurance. The life assured will pay monthly premiums so that in the case of a disability or death, an amount of money will be paid out to either the life assured or the nominated beneficiary. The size of the monthly premiums are based on two main factors, the value of the benefits and the risk to the insurance company. This means that the monthly contributions will be low if the life assured is more healthy and therefore at a lower risk of dying soon. If the life assured is living a dangerous lifestyle or is unhealthy, their premiums will be higher. This insurance is particularly useful if the life assured has an accident and is unable to work due to disability. Some life insurance policies will pay out either a lump sum or a monthly payments to the life assured to help them cover their living costs. For those of you who've been through a death in the family, you know how sad it is. Planning and paying for a funeral can be a further burden on the family. A funeral policy is taken out by a person who is called the Principal Life Assured. The Principal Life Assured will make monthly payments so that in the event of their death, the funeral policy will cover some, if not all, of the expenses. Funeral policies will often cover the family of the Principal Life Assured too. These family members are called the Secondary Life Assureds. The benefits under the policy could look something like this. 20,000 Rand for the funeral of the life assured and the spouse, 10,000 Rand for each child's funeral, and 12,000 Rand for the funeral of each of the life assured's parents. The final type of financial planning we'll discuss are stock fills. These are a little like investment clubs where a group of people in a community will pool their money together. 
This money is used for many different purposes and those purposes are decided on by the members of the Stockville. The money could be used to buy groceries, to invest in other businesses or to provide money for bereaved families. Members of the Stockville put their trust into each other and hold each other accountable for the contributions and the payouts. They have regular meetings to discuss the administration of the fund. Depending on the purpose of the Stockville, the people decide where the money must be kept. Some choose to invest the money with investment companies, but others will choose to invest the money into a local business or even keep the money at home. Thank you for joining us Grade 12s and remember the task for this section can be found in the Working with Inflation, Interest and Banking Task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.